Well, we're about 20 or so minutes away from the kickoff of the of the Broncos Colts game less than 20 minutes from now so by the time you see this uploaded the game will have already started and it's gonna be a struggle tonight I think I'm not watching this game tonight I don't I don't have it in me to see Russell Wilson struggle and the Colts struggle running the ball with Jonathan Taylor there's just not there's just not much I, I want to see in this game like I just genuinely do not want to see this game I'm not even gonna look at it you go to Sunday, we got another morning game out in London. You know, the, the Packers and the Giants. Surprisingly, the Giants are 3-1. and one. We know the Packers are 3-1. and one. And let me tell you, let me tell you, let me bring you close. Let me tell you, I, like the Giants are hurting. I'll tell you that much. They're hurting. Everybody is out. Who in the world is is going to step up is Daniel Jones even gonna play we'll find out but right now it's just not looking too pretty with the Giants because there's just there's just so many so many injuries and I mean you know the Giants defense they can play but can they keep that up a full game with Aaron Rodgers we'll find that out Sunday morning then you get to the to the later games, the Bills and the Steelers. Why is most of the country getting this game? You know, on your CBS stations. Why are we getting? Why is a lot of people getting this game? The Steelers are not that good, and then the Bills are just ugh. Like Kenny Pickett didn't do too well. Mitchell Trubisky got benched. Like, like I I, I don't know. Like I I don't know, man. Like. You know, Steelers defense is still trying their best to keep an incompetent offense together, but can they against the Bills? We'll find that out. I mean, the Bills can throw the ball. That That's the big thing. So we'll see if they can throw the ball all over the place or not. I, I don't know. Got the, got the Browns and the Chargers, and Jamari Sawyer. You know, an interesting left tackle. Usually, don't talk about you know tackles and stuff like that. But he's an he's an interesting he's an interesting guy because of how he played to start um, last week. He played pretty good, kept that up, and we don't know if Miles Garrett's gonna suit up or not. But if he does, could spell trouble on that left side of the line. And you know, there's just multiple guys on the Chargers that need to get up and get something going. You know, Keenan Allen still injured. J.C. Jackson you know has done pretty much nothing like, like, like have you heard of him at all on defense this year? Like, like I forgot he was even on this defense this year. He's done absolutely nothing. Yeah, so this one's going to be interesting I'll say that much. The Jags and the Texans. Oh boy. I don't even I don't even I don't even know what this is like like the Texans are bad the Jags they're improving although they did lose last week so that's not good but you know as long as the Jags beat the Texans here because it's the Texans and they're just not a good team I, I think I think I think things can go well but Houston's had their number the past couple of years but then again, that was when Jacksonville was even worse than Houston is right now. So we'll see if the tide turns. The Vikings and the Bears. We all know Justin Fields can't throw the ball down the field. I mean, he's just not doing it. He's just not the answer. And I think a lot, I think you know a lot of people are you know finally coming to terms with that. He's just not the answer at quarterback. And the Vikings, you know, they are. They are they they are they're an interesting bunch, you know, at three and one. They're an interesting bunch, you know. It feels like, you know, it's gonna be more about whether Justin Fields can actually do anything versus, you know, Minnesota. Cause Minnesota's been kind of frustrating. They're a frustrating three and one team, not a how are you three and one team, like somebody like the Giants, like it's a frustrating one to see this team at three and one because they should be doing better. Lions Patriots should be uh, something. Uh, I, I don't know who in the world's going to start for the Patriots. 
Will it be Bailey Zappi? Will it be Mac Jones? Will it be Brian Hoyer? Um, I don't know. Detroit also had some injuries that I found out later in, in the week, you know, last week. And we'll see if those injuries are still in effect. We'll see if it, if it keeps Detroit, you know, in a bad spot. New Orleans, Seattle, inside the Superdome with Geno Smith and Rashad Penny out here just doing they're just doing they're just doing you know good things like I don't know how this team is two and two right now and you know the Seahawks defense may be pretty bad but hey New Orleans that offense has got to get it together they got to get it together real quick and you know despite the fact that you know Seattle's defense isn't as porous as it once was it can still put up a fight it can still put up a fight so we'll see how this game goes out in New Orleans. Dolphins Jets. I'm actually thinking about watching this game because Zach Wilson's actually, you know, he played pretty well in his first game back. He played pretty well, and he's going to need to do a lot better against this Dolphins defense. Because we know this Dolphins defense can go. And, you know, they got Sauce Gardner, DJ Reed, you know, just a couple of you know just a couple of you know good guys just a couple of good guys at cornerback Teddy Bridgewater is going to start Tua Tagovailoa will not be playing this game as he should not be he should not be playing this game rest up honestly there was a doctor's report that came out that said he should retire and I think he should do that like again I just don't think you know and I said this um, during the um, the recap on Monday, which again, for some reason, I don't know what happened to it, but it's still getting views regardless. I don't know what happened to the recap last week. It got muted completely, so my apologies again. But Tua, uh, my stance is Tua should not be playing. The NFL should be reevaluating their concussion protocol and getting that together, like immediately. Bucks Falcons is is it gonna be an interesting one? You know, Tom Brady, you know, and company. You know, they kind of feeling it after last week. They got rightfully whipped last week against the Chiefs. Chris Godwin should be coming back. You know, the Falcons are. You know, they 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 they, they, they played they played some games that have had some pretty high scores. So maybe Brady could you know pick this team apart. We'll see. But don't count out the Falcons, though. They they're two and two, a tough two and two for a reason. Titans Commanders, how is this a game? I don't know because I mean Carson Wentz is just not, he's just not into it. He's just not that great. And then you got Ryan Tannehill on the other side. Like this is also not a good combination right here. You know Derek Henry finally being able to get something going. And, I mean, the Titans just don't look like, you know, a, 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 a good team right now. Like, they're 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 in it in the AFC South because the AFC South is just not that great. But they got to keep it up. And the Commanders could be the perfect blend of spices for them. So we'll see how it goes. 49ers Panthers. In the late windows, as we get started with those late window games, ah, uh, man, 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 what in the world is this? Like, we all know the 49ers defense is on point. Are they going to be able to lock down Baker Mayfield? Probably, yeah, I'd say so. I mean, what in the world kind of offense is Carolina going to put out there? It's been, it's been that bad. Carolina's offense has been that bad. Like what? 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 Are we, what are we gonna see out there? I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. Don't. Don't even. Don't even throw that offense at me. It looks terrible. Eagles Cardinals. You know, in one of the late games. You know, I, I'm. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. You know, maybe the Cardinals actually, you know, can put it together. But then again, they played the Panthers last week. We all know the Panthers aren't very good. You know. The Eagles still riding high, 
still unbeaten, still in a good spot right now, leading the NFC East. And it's like, you know, can the Eagles keep this up? I'm going to keep wondering for however long they stay undefeated. Cliff Kingsbury's got to get it together this week. He's got to, like, he's, he's got, you know, He's got the rest of the season to really get it together because I, I just don't I just don't see the justification of his contract being extended. Like, dude has been mid the his entire career. The definition of mid the his entire career. Squandering talent. Like, there's no reason the Cardinals should be two and two right now. There's no reason for it. There really isn't. And then the Cowboys and the Rams in the bigger late window game. I don't know what in the world kind of game this is. Because, I mean, either one of these teams could win. And the Rams just don't have an O-line that's stable again. They got exposed with the bad O-line, you know, the first couple weeks of the season. And the Cowboys defense has just been on a tear again. On a tear these first four weeks and you know the Rebs have just got to try and you know Sean McBay all he has to do is out coach Mike McCarthy and we all know how Mike McCarthy is if, he, if, if Sean McBay can do that then the Rams can win this game but that defense for the Cowboys though on point good stuff I love every second of it watching it and it should be an interesting clash between this Rams O-line and the Cowboys defense. I think Bengals Ravens. Oh boy, how in the world are the Ravens defense going to be able to do anything to stop Jamar Chase and T. Higgins? How are they going to do anything? Because they can't stop a wet paper bag from running past them. And Lamar Jackson can only do so much. Like, man needs help. He needs it. Where is it? That Ravens defense has to get it together. It should also be interesting to see how the Bengals defense goes up against the Ravens offense. Again, you know, Lamar against that defense. You know, the Bengals defense is tough. So we'll see how it goes. And then, to end it off, Derek Carr and the Raiders... Go up to Arrowhead to take on Patrick Mahomes. And, you know, every time we think Patrick Mahomes and company, you know, are, are going to like lose their luster a little bit, they remind us that they're the kings of the AFC now. They are the kings of the AFC now. And to defeat the kings, you got you to gotta really, really whip them real bad. And I just don't see that happening. I just don't see that happening. Come on. You expect me to trust Derek Carr? Yeah, the Raiders got their first victory last week. But do you expect me to trust Derek Carr against, you know, a team that's not incompetent on offense? Like, they're literally the definition of competent. Like, the Chiefs are so competent on offense... Like, that game against Tampa Bay was over in the first half, and you could have just started off with the bed. Like, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes for the Raiders. Like, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, like, do the Raiders have an answer on defense? That's, that's a big question. And we'll find it out. You know, we know the Chiefs are much improved. I mean, you've seen them throughout the season. You see them throughout the season play. Yeah, they had that weird game against the Colts, but other than that anomaly, just that damn good on defense. So, there you go. That's it for week five, the preview for week number five of the NFL season. Until Monday night, I'll see you all and have a good night. And enjoy the game that's coming on in at 7.15, which is by the time this video ends, it's 7.10. So in like five minutes, the game will be on. Enjoy it tonight. <laughs>